I try to introduce all the families and babies, but we've got quite a bit here this morning, so I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let the parents do that this morning. So we'll start over here. If you'll introduce, will, will he let me take him for just a minute? You wanna c come here just a minute, buddy. This is, this is River, right? This is River and? This is Roman. And this is Roman. Come here, Roman. Walk with me here just a minute, buddy. This is River and Roman. Everybody see how handsome these young men are? <laughs> that is awesome. And introduce yourself, honey. And my name is Glenda Rex. Glenda Rex. Glenda. Glenda. That's right, Glenda. Glenda Rex. He wants to talk. Not right now, buddy. Maybe, <laughs> maybe in a little while. Who are we dedicating today? Introduce him. This is Campbell Ray. Will she let me take her? Hey, Campbell. Come here, sweetie. Looky here. Hi. You're like, who in the world is that? <laughs> Do y'all see this beautiful, beautiful little sweet girl this morning? <laughs> oh, how precious. What a precious gift. There you go. And who we got here this morning? This is Weston Wallace. Weston, can you hold that just a minute? Will Weston let me take him here for just a minute and show him off? Looky here. I'm telling you what, now I'm enjoying this this morning. <laughs> oh, how precious. How precious. My goodness. And who do we have here? Grady Parker. We have Grady Parker. Hold that, Dad. Come here, Grady. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Looky here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Adorable. Say, me and Grady, we're buddies. <laughs> oh, who do we have over here, Dad? Miss Everly Rose. Miss Everly Rose. Will you take that just a minute? Oh, my goodness. And Everly Rose is so small. Don't drop her past her. All right, I got to come down here a little bit closer so y'all can see. Looky here. <laughs> Isn't she gorgeous? I tell you, God is so good. And then I got one more over here. Introduce Kylie. This is Kylie. If you'll hold that for yes, me sir. just a minute. Come here, Kylie. Oh, my goodness. 
She's even smaller than the last one. <laughs> Got to check this out. <laughs> I have the best job in the whole wide world. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my goodness. So gorgeous. Thank you. You know, this morning, what we are doing here is more than just about these children. This is really a commitment that these parents are making today. Most of these children here probably won't even remember this moment unless mom and dad sits them down and reminds them of what took place on this day. The day that they were dedicated to the Lord. And when we dedicate children to the Lord, here's what we do. We anoint them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we say that these children have been sanctified. These children have been set apart to be used for God's glory and for God's honor. And it's the commitment of these parents because this is by no means salvation for these children. There's going to come a point in time in each one of these children's lives when they're old enough to understand what it means to become a believer, to become a follower of Jesus, that they'll have to make that decision for themselves. But it's the parents who commit to lead them in making that commitment to Jesus. And not just making that commitment to Jesus, parents, but today you're also making a commitment before God. And really it's more than a commitment, it's, it's a covenant that we make before God and before all of these people here today that says yes at a young age I'm gonna make sure that my children have an opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as their personal Savior listen that's the best thing you could ever lead your child to do is to become a follower of Christ but not just that it's also your responsibility mom and dad and God is gonna give you the wisdom and the discernment to be able to do this but to recognize the the seed of potential that God has placed within your children. Those gifts, those talents, those abilities that God himself placed there and he's going to use you to recognize those things and to develop those gifts, to help develop those talents, to help develop those abilities and to always remind your children that God gave you those gifts, talents and abilities to use for his glory. Not for our own gain, not for our own fame, but for God's glory. And so here's what I pray for the parents today. Number one, I pray that God will give you grace because you're gonna need grace. This is an assignment that is bigger than any of us. In and of ourselves, we cannot raise children, especially in this kind of culture that we live in to be God-fearing kids, not in and of ourselves, not by ourselves. We have to have a power beyond ourselves, a wisdom beyond ourselves, and that comes from God. And I pray today that God gives each and every one of you that grace because His grace will be sufficient to get you through every season of life. And for some of you that's just getting started raising children, there are seasons to come. And you'll need that grace to get you through and you'll need wisdom the Bible says that if a man or a woman lacks wisdom let them ask from God and he'll give you the wisdom that you need and then I pray that God gives you patience this is this is a part of that patience process that God <laughs> that God uses to help develop those kinds of character qualities in each and every one of us so parents all of you parents standing up here today if you agree to everything that I just said and you're willing to be used by God and to be a good steward of these gifts that he's entrusted to you would you just say before God and before these people we will we will amen and I want you if you would please to come and I'm gonna ask other members of the family that are here today I want you to stand if you would those other members of the family that are here in support of these would you stand now here's, here's what I want you parents to do right now. I want you to look around you, just look behind you right there, at these incredible parents and grandparents. And then I want you to look at these other members of the family, and then more than that, I want you to even look at this whole body of believers here today. Because that's the support system that God 
has surrounded you with. We are here to help in any way that we possibly can in your journey of parenthood. And I know that these wonderful parents and grandparents, the same, that they are here to love on you, to support you, and to help and to impart wisdom when asked to impart wisdom. So we want to anoint each and every one of you this morning. And honey, if you will help me. Lord, we anoint these precious children in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and these mighty parents, mighty men and women of God. Father, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we anoint each one of them today. <laughs> oh, I tell you, if I only had the time, and I will at some point to impart to you some of the prophetic things that the Lord shows me when I lay hands and I anoint these children, I see incredible things happening through each one of these in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. God, we set these children apart for the master's use. They are vessels of honor to be used for your glory, to be used for your honor in the name of Jesus, the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, God. Oh, we need your anointing. We need your grace. I want everybody to stretch your hand now in this direction as we pray a prayer of dedication in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that the greatest gift that you could give to a man or a woman, to a couple, God, is to bless them with children. And Lord, we don't take it for granted. What a blessing, what a, what a blessing, what a gift these children are to us, Lord. Now, Father, I pray that you will give these parents grace. I pray that you will give them wisdom. I pray that you would give them insight. I pray that you would give them discernment. God, I pray for a supernatural anointing upon each and every one of these parents today, God, because I believe that it requires an anointing, power of the Holy Spirit to be good stewards of these precious gifts that you've entrusted to them. Father, I see in the name of Jesus, in the Spirit, I see world changers standing on this stage here this morning in the arms of their parents today, but one day they themselves will stand and Lord, I see preachers of the gospel. I see missionaries on this stage here this morning that will go into areas of this world that have never heard the gospel and they will take the gospel. They will take the good news everywhere they go. God, I see doctors and I see lawyers up here today. Hallelujah. I see those, God, that are going to transform the communities in which they live, Father. I see those, God, that you are going to move in their heart and you're going to move in their life and you've given them the gifts and the talents and the abilities Lord to be creative and inventive Lord and they will do things that have never been seen before invent things that have never been invented before Father God this is God I just feel that this is a group of children right here that God they've come together for such a time as this and that you are raising up this mighty generation of children Father God and I believe that out of them will come the great end time revival, the great outpouring of the Holy Spirit, Father. Oh, thank you, Lord. Now we, God, we commit ourselves as a church, as the family of God, we commit ourselves to support these parents in every way we can. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Now what you've received from us this morning is one, you have received a certificate. This will remind you of the covenant that you've made today on behalf of your child. And I would recommend that when your child is old enough to understand that you sit down and you pull that certificate out and you remind them that on this day, you sanctified them. You set them apart to be used for the glory of God. Remind them of this moment. And then we've given you a little first Bible for your children. And in giving you that, it's our commitment from Summerton Church of God. And here's what we're saying. We're going to do everything we can to teach your children God's word when they're in this house. And to reinforce what you're teaching your children at home. Because we want them to know the word of God. But not only are we going to teach them the word of God, we're going to live the word of God before them. So that they can see God's word in action. Is that all right? We love every one of you. And listen, we're here for whatever you need. Isn't that right, Summerton Church of God? Aren't we here for these parents? Come on, let's stand to our feet and give God thanks today for these wonderful, beautiful gifts.
Amen. Congratulations. We love you guys so much, man. Bless y'all. Congratulations. We rejoice and we celebrate with y'all this morning. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We rejoice and we celebrate with you today. We're praying for you and we're here for whatever you need. Amen.